men being controlling, men being the one that usually have the more money and they feel empower. like they can empower and own a, a woman. What? And when the woman starts to feel like, okay, well, it, in this day and age, I can do this for myself. I can make mm -hmm. it just as much money as you. I can be in just as much, uh, you know, power as you. I want you to pay very close attention to what this lady said. She claims it's control, but it's not control. It's care. When you as a woman think a man taking care of you, a man having power, a man being able to be just like a man is control. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Say it with me, y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. So I don't, I don't need you. I don't need you to be controlling me. I don't need, and that's where the, the power, it's a power struggle, right? Mm. honestly. <laughs> I believe in the black nuclear family. I believe that the black community has left and deserted the thought of family. If we look at this woman and what she is saying, she is saying words like control and I can be equal to you. I can be just like you because I'm a woman, but yet, Women don't want to work construction. Women don't want to do hard labor. Women don't want to do trades. What do women want to do? They want to sit in the office. They want to sit in an air conditioned building. They want to sit at a desk. They want to sit and be a secretary. They don't want to do male jobs. And you always see women that want to talk about control. Oh, it's control. They're controlling me. It's control. Don't be controlled by a man. I'm going to play this video by this young sister who breaks it down. Is it really control? See, a lot of modern women, they just want to jump up and say oh it's control you're controlling me you're telling me what to do in regards to black women not being protected let me first state the obvious no man should put his hands on a woman we desire protection but sometimes what we don't understand is that true protection comes with a level of control bodyguards are a good example a bodyguard will make their client leave from a dangerous place. The bodyguard has to know all the details, who, what, when, where, why, and how. And the client has to listen to the bodyguard and follow the instruction that the bodyguard gives them. It's really an agreement between all parties involved. When the person who needs protecting does not follow the instruction and the direction of the protector, it puts the protector in a situation where they're more likely to lose their life. I have four brothers and a father, and I listen to their instruction even when they're not around. They have told me to stay away from certain places if I'm by myself or if it's late at night. They've also advised me not to be drunk or high in certain situations. Even though my brothers, my dad, and the men in my life protect me, I in turn protect them by listening to them and following their instruction. They don't have to come to my defense in some wild scenario because if I listened to them, I wouldn't have been there in the first place. And this is another thing I feel like is pertinent to say, and I know folks ain't gonna like this one. I don't have sons right now, but when I do have sons, I'm gonna teach them that there's a difference between diamonds and dirt and rubies and rocks. Rubies and diamonds are often in jewelry stores. They're in glass cases, they're secured, there's an alarm system. There's a lot of layers of protection because those things are valuable but you could pull over to the side of the road and find some dirt and rocks. 
This sister broke it down. She's saying, if you want protection, there needs to be a little bit of control because you have to listen to the person that wants to protect you. You have to give up just a little bit of control. The modern women don't understand what it's like to have a successful relationship. You think, okay, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to eat what I want, I'm gonna say what I want, and then have a successful relationship. See, when you go to work, you represent your company. When you go out, you represent yourself. And if you're in a relationship, you represent your relationship, your man. This is the reason why men they have that knowledge. They have that foresight. They say, don't go out and dress the way that you do. Don't go out and act the way that you do. Don't go out and talk the way that you do. Because it's a representation of your man, of you. You know the reason why society and the world doesn't take black women seriously? It's because of the representation they give themselves. Black women represent themselves poorly on social media. And then you wonder why so many of other races, you wonder why so many other races don't take you seriously. You wonder why so many other races devalue you. You wonder why. If you don't value yourself, how can anybody else value you? If you don't love yourself and respect yourself, how can you demand that other people respect and value you at the same time? You can't. So when you look in the mirror, what do you see? You see a modern woman. You see a woman who's a sheep or who's easily swayed by what's going on. You want to follow after sexy red. You want to follow after celebrities. You want to do what they do and say what they say. Instead of you getting a man and keeping a man, you look at a man's leadership and guidance as control. And it's not. But y'all would never do that with a white man, an Asian man, a Latino man, an Arabic man, an Indian man, but you will do that with the black man. You will do that and disrespect black man. But then you want respect from the people that you constantly disrespect. You see, black men have drawn the line. We've said enough is enough. We don't want to deal with the disrespect of modern women. And rightfully so. Because so many women, they care more about a man's money than the actual man themselves. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tick on that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content and i will be going live tomorrow night 6 30 p.m eastern standard time so stay tuned for that and until the next video peace